Hello, students. Welcome back to botany class. So yesterday we have seen the one LAQ from the third step, 13th chapter. That is the strategies for enhancement of food production. There is a plant breeding, what we have seen in the last class. Now we are going to have a look on the second LAQ from the same chapter. That is the tissue culture. tissue culture. So how the question comes and how to write the answer. Here, if the question is of describe the tissue culture in detail, the tissue culture, that might be the question or else define tissue culture and explain the different steps that are going to be followed for, get, for doing the tissue culture in the biotech labs. That is the another question. So if any, whatever may be the question, if tissue culture is occurred, then you have to write the answer in a specific manner. That is what is meant by tissue culture. There is a definition is first mandatory one over here. We will see how you are writing. Otherwise, how you are presenting your answer. For that half mark we will give over here out of eight marks half mark only for the presentation process. And the next seven and half marks, we will divide for the stepwise patterns, okay? So the first one is the tissue culture, define tissue culture. Without that, never start this answer. What is meant by tissue culture? When we are growing the tissues in the biotech labs in the specific conditions to get a plant of the same kind is called as the tissue culture. Okay, culture means growing, tissue, mass of cells. That is the definition. You have to split this word and give the definition that is also acceptable because there is no specific definition for the tissue culture. Whatever the way you are writing, we will accept, but definition is mandatory. Remember this, what is meant by tissue culture when we are growing the mass of cells, that is the tissues. Okay, when we are growing the tissues in a biotech lab under the specific conditions and to get a new plant of the same kind is called as the tissue culture. Now, in this tissue culture can be obtained in different steps. That means we can go with this in seven different steps. Okay, so what the sentence steps will be followed for the tissue culture. That's the sentence what we have to write. Now the first step in the tissue culture. Before going to the steps, I will say what we are going to do in the tissue culture, then the steps can be very easy for you to remember and to recollect also because this is the second important LAQ what we are learning for the second year botany. Okay, so here in the tissue culture for this process, we are collecting the tissues from the plant body and we are growing in the biotech lab. That means under the specific temperature, pressure and the atmosphere, we are creating for the tissues to grow into a plant of the same kind. So here we are, when we are growing in that manner, we have to supply the soil molecules. Sometimes the tissues won't grow on the soil. So we have to put the medium just similar to the soil for the tissues to grow. That is called as a culture medium. What we'll call them as culture medium. So this culture medium, we need to prepare in the biotech labs. This has to be prepared by us. So when we have to prepare this, that is the culture. That is where we are growing the tissues on the medium. Okay, and apart from this, on this we will supply the water that is also only the distilled, otherwise the sterilized water will supply and hormones we will supply for the growth of the plant body because the plant needs the different hormones for the different parts to be grown. That is, it has to show the division and the redivision for showing the growth. For that, it needs the hormones in the specific ratio. That means the specific quantity of the growth promoting hormones are very, very important 
for the tissues to grow into a new plant. Okay, so for that, we need to have the hormones also over here. What we are using, I'm saying, and when we are doing all these things, we need the glass apparatus in the biotech lab. So, so what are the glass apparatus? What we need? We need the petri dishes. Test tubes, and what else we need? We need a flower pot, and soil molecules, and what else we need for doing this process, the tissue culturing process in the biotech lab? We need the well experienced otherwise well known persons who can operate the complete apparatus very big apparatus that apparatus is called as the autoclave so what is meant by autoclave what it will do it is just like a a big microwave look microwave like machine okay where we will sterilize all the things in a large quantity in a less time period. That is the autoclave, where we can sterilize and we can grow the plant and everything we can do. That's so we have we know we have to have the manpower who knows about this autoclave operations. So this is a very expensive process in the plant breeding technology itself because this is the latest and the most expensive process because we are maintaining the room temperature. And we are maintaining the persons who know to operate this autoclave well efficiently. So this is the very in very effective and the costliest technology what we are saying in the plant breeding process only. So all these things we need over there. Apart from this, the most important ones are the tissues of the plants. This is also very, very important one. So what is meant by a tissue? Tissue means group of cells which are doing one single function that is called as the tissues. Okay, so here in the tissue culture lab, we will take out the tissues and we will, talk, we will start about the, start doing the culturing, that means growing of the tissues into the specific plant of the same kind only. We are not growing a new variety of the same kind. So what is the basic, what is the importance of this tissue culture? Before going to know about this, we should know why we are doing this, isn't it? When I am saying this lecture, you should know that this is the profitable for you only. Because once you listen, once you implement these steps, it will be easy for you to get good score. That means 8 out of 8 for this LQ itself. So without that, you won't listen my lecture. Now. So for doing this tissue culture also, you should know the advantages. That means why we are doing this. The, by this process, we can get the, that means we can make the new plants of the same kind in a large number in a less time period. And all these plants successfully can grow anywhere in the outside atmosphere. That means there is no specification, no specification with the soil type, otherwise with the outside atmosphere also. If it is having the hot springs, then also plant can grow while after preparing with the tissue culture. Otherwise, if that is a waterlogged area, there also plant can grow. Otherwise, if the water amounts are less in the soil, then also plant can grow. What, which one we have prepared with the tissue culture, that much we are giving the assurance for the farmers that whatever is the land soil type, the plant can grow successfully and the what is the ultimate aim for this tissue culture? To get the more profit, yield should be more and the disease resistance capacity should be more for the plant. The, these are the two aims of what we are targeting to grow the plant in the tissue culture by this process itself. So this is the most important one. Now we can come to the steps what we have to follow in the tissue culture. 
so tissue culture is having the seven different steps that means we can conclude the tissue culture in seven seven different steps the first one is the preparation of cult culture medium okay second one preparation of culture medium we can say it as the nutrient medium also any word we can say culture otherwise the nutrient medium which is having the nutrients in it next one is the preparation of x plant and the third step is inoculation of x plant and the fourth step is organogenesis okay and the fifth step is fourth one is callus formation and fifth one is organogenesis and the sixth one is and the sixth one is we can go with the growing of the plant that is shifting the plant to the flower pot and the last step that is the seventh step is testing and releasing the plant to the outside atmosphere so the first one we will see what's happening over here okay so the first one is the preparation of the culture medium otherwise the nutrient medium so in this we have to prepare the nutrient medium where the tissues are growing first of all so for this we have to take the uh, the rice bran otherwise the leaves of the different plants and we have to make the nutrient medium by mixing with them otherwise we have to make them to be there in the water for 2 to 3 days 2 to 3 weeks also sometimes with the quantity and after that we have to sterilize it in the autoclave then that will be the this is resistant that means without any microorganisms in the nutrient medium like that we have to prepare the nutrient medium otherwise the culture medium first of all when we have prepared this a culture medium with the different plant parts we can prepare the culture medium which are having the well number of the nutrients where the tissues need to grow efficiently in the culture medium to produce the organs in it as well as the root formation and the shoot formation in this that is the culture medium preparation and after that we have to prepare the x plant what is meant by x plant over here okay so for this x plant what we have to say x plant means the living the plant material which is useful for the tissue culture in the biotech collapse that is called as the x plant so this x plant may be the seed of the plant body otherwise the embryo of the plant body otherwise the 
zygote of the plant or else the leaf tissues or else simply we can say the meristematic tissues meristematic tissues okay so the meristematic tissues may be the root root meristems or stem meristems or leaf meristems anything we can take over here for the meristematic tissue for growing as the explant in the biotech labs apart from this we can take a small plant also what is our aim so for that sake only i said initially what is the aim of the tissue culture here we are making the same plant kind with the increasing the resistance capacity in it to get the more yield so here if we have taken a small plant if we are increasing the resistance capacity in this obviously it will give the better yield for us so like that we can take the the explant anything we can take that is the meristematic tissues also we can take we can take a small plant otherwise the seed of the plant otherwise the embryo or else the zygote or else any tissues of the existing plant that also we can take for growing in the biotech labs that is in the tissue culture to make a new plant of the same kind so whatever may be these are all the living things in for the plant body so these are all called as the explant for the plant okay so these are the explant means here seed embryo zygote meristematic tissues of the plant body otherwise a small plant anything called as the explant so first of all we have to select the plant which one we want to grow in the biotech lab after that what we have to do the third step that is the sterilization third step here it is the sterilization of the explant and the nutrient medium for both we need to do the sterilization so how we have to do the sterilization so sterilization means removing the microorganisms which are present in the culture medium as well as on the explant for from both of them we have to remove the microorganisms so that we are making the plant body which is having the resistance more resistance more when it comes when the microorganisms are completely removed from the surface of the plant body so first of all sterilization for the culture medium that is a nutrient medium what we have prepared so entire nutrient medium whatever we have prepared that can be sterilized in the autoclave in the autoclave so what is the temperature so here this autoclave can be maintained with the temperature pressure and the times also so 15 lbs pressure should be maintained in this then the temperature should be 120 at the temperature is 121 degrees centigrade and the time limit is 15 minutes we have to maintain the time in the autoclave so that is the 121 degree centigrade 15 lb is pressure and 15 minutes only we need to sterilize so that all entire culture medium can be sterilized that means no other microorganisms are present in the culture medium so it is a free now for us to use as the culture medium to grow the tissues in the disinfectant manner okay the next one is the explant how to sterilize the explant if we are making the explant to be sterilized in the autoclave sometimes the living cells may die so what we have to do we have to wash the explant with the detergent water so soak the tissues that means the explant that is the only not the tissues only the explant that may explant may be the seed the uh, a small plant otherwise the some cells okay 
the living other cells. So those cells should be soaked in the detergent water for five to 10 minutes. Then we have to wash them under the running water for 15 minutes. Then all the detergent traces will be removed from the explant. Now the explant is also free of microorganisms. So no other organism can grow with the presence of the detergent water. So we are washing out the detergent traces as well as the microorganisms under the running tap so that it will be completely get rid of the microorganisms. Now it is also free and this is also free. So here, once we have used this autoclave, again, same. Not accepted. Shall I take one more screen? One more screen. Done the sterilization process in the autoclave at 121 degrees centigrade. At 121 degrees centigrade, pressure will be the 15 LBs for 15 minutes. When we have done the sterilization, these temperatures are very, very important, what we have to mention in the theory. And then the complete microorganisms were removed from the explant as well as from the culture medium. Now those are very much get rid of the microorganisms now which is ready for growing on the culture medium. Now what we have to do, we have to take the culture medium in the 
petri dishes so with before taking the petri dishes for the culturing process even the petri dishes even the petri dishes and the glass apparatus has to be before the using them has to be sterilized in the autoclave so again the same temperature that is 121 degrees centigrade 15 lb pressure and the now these sterilized glass apparatus can be used for the culturing process so now this petri dishes has to be taken and the tissues what we are taking the meristematic tissues should be placed on the on the petri dishes so many petri dishes we can take but i am drawing only one at a time we can take 1000 to 5000 petri dishes to culture the tissues in the biotech lab. So like this, <clears throat> when we have taken the culture medium, this is the culture medium. And on this culture medium, we have taken the tissues. So these tissues, these tissues will start taking up the nutrient material from the culture medium and they will start growing. For do, growing this, Again, we need the autoclave. So we have to put all these petri dishes in the autoclave machine where we have to maintain the moisture levels and the temperature need to be maintained in the autoclave so that they will start growing by taking up the moisture as well as the nutrients from the culture medium. Like that, we have to grow these tissues in the culture medium for 15 days. After 15 days, these tissues will show the growth. How they will show the growth? A mass of cells can be seen now over there. In the Petri dish, we can see the mass of cells. Number of the cells will increase over here. So this is called as the callus. Mass of cells which were seen after the growth of the tissues are called as the callus. Now they have taken up the complete nutrients from the culture medium. So this culture medium is cannot be utilized for the next time. So we have to change the petri dishes with the fresh culture medium and this callus should be kept on the culture medium. Once we are keeping them on the culture medium, new culture medium, immediately in the culture medium, we have to take the hormones so what are the hormones what we have to take we have to take the auxins and cytokinins these are the two hormones what we have to take for the growth of the callus on the culture medium so now once we have taken out the new culture medium with the new petri dish now the auxins and the cytokinins should be added to the culture medium in different ratios. Here we have to take the ratio as 3 is to 1 ratio. That means the more the number of auxins and less number of cytokinins we need to take. So once we have taken the hormones in the 3 is to 1 ratio, so which part will start developing first? That is also very, very important. So once we have taken out this type of 3 is to 1 ratio in the nutrient medium for the callus to grow into the different organs here, once the auxins are more, then the root system will develop first. Root system will develop first. And once and after some time, again, we need to change the culture medium 
with the same hormones in the reverse manner. That means now the cytokines should be more and auxins should be less. Then the root development can be, the stem development can be seen in the callus. Like that for the tissues, that means for the callus, we are showing the root and the shoot development successfully. So these are the two hormones which are responsible for this. That is called as the organogenesis. Once the callus starts producing the organs, organs means here nothing but the, for the plant body, organs are nothing but the root, stem, leaves, flower, fruits. So here only come to the conclusion as the root, stem and the leaves. These are the organs what we can say. So once the auxins are more, cytokines are less, then the callus will start developing the roots in them. And once the, in the next time with the hormones, what will take? Cytokine is more and the auxins less. So now the auxins should be one, and the ratio should be one is to three. That is one will be the auxins, three will be the cytokinins. So with that, again, the stem development can be enhanced in the callus like that the organ development can be seen in the callus. Once we are doing all these things, we have to take the petri dishes like that only where we can grow the plant with the root and the stem. So which type of uh, glass apparatus we have to take here? We have to take the test tubes because petri dish is just like a bowl-like one. So now, once we have to go with the organogenesis, we have to take the test tubes over here, which in this test tubes, we will take the culture medium. This culture medium will always be taken in a slanting manner in the, pit, in the test tube itself. Why? Because it will be not present like this one. So we are drawing like this, but in the tissue culture lab, it will be present in a slanting so that inside to inside this, the fresh air that is with the oxygen, moisture can enter for the growth of the callus, what we have taken out here. So for that, it needs the slanting position. So whenever we are drawing the test tubes, we have to draw the culture medium in the slanting manner only, not in the straight. Okay, so this is the callus. Now, in this culture medium, we have included the growth promoting hormones also, which will start their action on the callus to form the organs in the callus. That is stem and the root like occurrence. Once a small plant like occurrence, once we have seen in the test tube, immediately this need to be transferred into a small flower pot. So for that, what we have to do again, once we are going to send this, into the transfer this into the flower pot. The flower pot and the soil molecules has to be sterilized again in the autoclave before using them. So that all the microorganisms can be cleared from the surface of the flower pot as well as in the soil molecules. So now it will be the disinfectant for the young plant which we are growing in the flower pot. Now we have to take a flower pot, small flower pot, where we have to place this young plant, what we have started growing in the test tubes. And this flower pot should be kept in the autoclave where the temperature and the moisture and the oxygen levels are going to be maintained so that it can be growing in the disinfectant way atmosphere itself where the resistance capacity can be enhanced for the Young plant itself. So, like that, for the next 15 days, we have to grow in the we have to grow the young plant in the autoclave machine itself. 
after that we have to take out this into the outside atmosphere so how to do this there is a acclimatization of the young plant acclimatization so what is meant by acclimatization we are making them to adjust to the outside atmosphere forcibly we are doing so how to do this at once so if we transfer it to the outside atmosphere the plant may die just like the small kids the newborn baby we cannot take out into the outside world like that so we will keep them in the somewhat wrapped condition and we won't leave them like this we have we will wrap them so how why we are doing because that is the nature why they are they were present in the mother's womb like that so here also we are giving them like that the situation so they feel that they are safe and secure once they they came out of the mother's womb also so here also the same thing what we have to do once we have making the plan to be adjusted to the outside atmosphere we cannot make them to transfer outside immediately so we are slowly adjusting them to the outside atmosphere that is called as the acclimatization of the end plan so first of all from the autoclave we have to remove and we have to keep this uh, flower pots near in the uh, in the biotech lab itself here and there and uh, uh, like that once they are present outside the autoclave they will adjust to be there in the not in the restricted condition so much more air will be there carbon dioxide will be there because even we are there means carbon dioxide will be released in a large amount and oxygen we are consuming both will consume plants will consume even we consume so with that levels will be up and down so they will adjust themselves slowly to this type of ups and downs of the oxygen and the carbon dioxide so that they will try to be learn individually in them in the biotech lab like that 15 days we need to make them to be there in the outside lab after that we have to transfer this potted plant near the entrance of the biotech lab so that whenever we will open the door and we'll get into the lab the outside heat hot air will come otherwise the microorganisms will come so that it will adjust itself to that type of atmosphere also from the outside to the inside the room biotech lab where the entire things are restricted conditions we are giving them as a sterilized condition so that will be adjusted automatically with the outside world so like that we have to make them to adjust at the entrance of the biotech lab that is also acclimatization comes over there like that once the plant is adjusted so it will show the growth how we can say that plant is adjusted when it starts growing the leaves number of leaves are more means plant is adjusted to the outside world efficiently now it's safe for us to transfer now the last step is transfer of the plant to the outside soil now we can take out this flower pot directly into the outside soil and we can put the plant in the outside soil successfully it can start its further growth into a resistant variety that is the disease resistant variety will be more and it can give the yield 3 to 4 times more for us this is our aim of our the tissue culture what we have achieved with each and every plant plant so these plants what we have taken out all these plants can successfully grow in the water stress areas also that means when the water levels are less in the soil then also plant can adjust and they can grow and gives 3 to 4 times more yield which is very benefit for our needs to be satisfied as well as the farmer will get the more income where even he can have the luxurious life like us at least similar to us not exact to us so this is the complete process of the tissue culture okay so what we have to do the same steps we have to put this theory into the steps to write for the tissue culture answer if we know the steps if we, otherwise if you know the theory you can easily write about the tissue culture process and we can easily get after writing this entire process we have to write the advantages of the tissue culture this is mandatory so the advantages if they ask in the question or not you should not bother 
see what is the question and write the definition and the steps of the tissue culture now comes to the advantages in the advantages what we discussed before all these four points we have to write in the advantages that is the plants the different types of the plants can be grown at a time at the specific conditions in the biotech labs so that the, all the plants the number of plantlets will be produced more in the outside world for the farmers to grow in the of the same kind and the e and after all the final aim is for us is the to get a disease resistant variety and the yield should be more so the same thing in the advantages we have to write the all the plants whatever we made in the tissue culture are all the disease resistant variety and the yield will be triple or four times more than the original plant but one disadvantage is there for this tissue culture that is cost of the plant is more that also i said before starting of this process why we are using the tissue culture at that time only i said we need the skilled persons to operate all the machines so once we have taken out the skilled persons we have to pay the money for the skilled person so the one disadvantage in the tissue culture is the products what we are releasing out are the costlier than the original plantlets that is the so the cost will be more otherwise cost is more for the plants this much we have to write conclude like this in the with the tissue culture after this again it needs the flow chart and the diagrams this is also very very important so where we will lose the marks is this only because what we will say they have they didn't ask me about the diagrams and they didn't ask me about the disadvantages and the advantages and they didn't ask us to draw the flow chart no need for them to ask in my subject if they ask or not no bother you have to write you have to write because the marks were divided for each and every step over here definition carries half mark the complete descriptive part if you will write in an elaborate manner that will be the five marks or else it is the four marks and the flow chart one and half mark to two mark is the for capacity then the rest of the marks will be given for the diagrams the diagrams only four diagrams what i have drawn already test tubes this is the test tube with callus culture medium and the second diagram is test tube this is the showing the organogenesis and this is the culture medium this is the one two diagrams are over next diagram comes with the flower pot a small flower pot what we have taken to grow a to show the plant this is the plant this is the flower pot and fourth diagram a big flower pot and plant with big leaves
that's it. These are the four easiest diagrams. So everyone can draw. There is no artistic manner also here. Everyone can draw these four simple diagrams. And after that, flow chart is important. What we are, what we are saying, same thing. If you write in the flow chart manner, that's the gives the good impression what we wrote in the answer. That's it. So for doing that, first of all, in this tissue culture. So in the tissue culture, what we are taking tissues. And here, it's the culture medium is needed. So preparation of the culture medium. Okay, preparation of the tissues. After that, this we will take and this becomes the explant and we will place the tissues on the culture medium for growth. So that is called as the inoculation. Inoculation. After the inoculation, we will supply the after the inoculation it becomes the callus so for this callus what we will do we will supply the hormones then what the callus will become now? It becomes the organogenesis. It starts producing its organs now. That is called as the organogenesis. After this, what happens after the organogenesis? After the organogenesis, it comes back to the Once the organogenesis occurs, then this organogenesis, after supplying the hormones, it becomes the again the explant. That is the small plant what we are seeing with the roots and the stem. Okay. So after this, this may be goes into the two different ways. That means completely we can make it as the new plant where it will go into the flower pot where it makes a new plantlet that also can be seen otherwise. If the Organogenesis, take another stream that is the soma clones. It may form the soma clones. That means the cytoplasm which was fused to form the a hybrid variety. That is also can be done with the organs what we have made with the callus itself. So with that, we are making the new variety. And after the soma clones, again, we will have the one as the explant only. And this explant again will be, will become a plantlet. And this plantlet and this plant, plantlets are same, which were transferred into the outside world to grow individually. So like this, we can conclude the flow chart. This is the simple way what we are doing with the theory I have explained. Okay. So now you can start reading this answer in the 
reader or else in your materials and if you are having any doubts you can just put in the comment box okay so with this we have finished this leq also only the one leq left out that is the sewage treatment okay so we will see that leq in the next class and stay tuned to this same channel okay right thank you Yes, yes. I don't know anything of plant life and learning.